Kitty and I welcome you to another classic shave. Right, Kitty? 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 Well, hello there. I've already prepped my face with La Livre Blanc shaving oil. My razor is going to be this adjustable Gillette uh, Black Beauty, they call it, right there. I'm going to at least start out on the number five setting there, if you can see that. And my blade is going to be the Super Iridium blade by Xylotech. It also has the uh, little W logo for Wardonia on there. That is a type of razor, the Wardonia, also, um, but not the razor I'm going to be using today. My soap is going to be this, the um, Don Donato Fredo, it's actually cream, shaving cream from Extra Cosmisi, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, from uh, Italy, now available at West Coast Shaving in a nice glass tub with the plastic lid there and I've already lathered up a brush it is this Omega 10049 bore brush so I'm going to go ahead and wet this a little bit and that's plenty there and go ahead and try to get a lather started here I hope you're all doing well out there It's a very big brush and the cream is very nice. Sorry there was no video last week folks, but last week uh, uh, well, this whole past week has been challenging, to put it nicely. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't get into all the details. I've just been a little down. But anyway, we'll try to get a good shave going. That's the only thing that's been going well lately is the shaves. And uh, so, anyway, I'll go ahead and wet the razor. And we'll try to get started here. And hope you're all, <clears throat> excuse me, hope you're all doing well out there. Did I say that twice? I don't know. I can't, can't remember what I'm doing anymore. Oh, about almost two days worth of growth here. I didn't shave yesterday. All right. Pretty sharp blade. And it's now officially autumn in this hemisphere, in the northern hemisphere. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Anybody got any autumnal plans? Did anyone celebrate the equinox in any way? All right. This shaving cream is wonderful. It's my second time using this cream.
And it's another one of those shaves where I'm at the bottom of my personality and I'm not conversing very much, I guess. But uh, making up for it is the fact that, yes, like I said, this shaving cream is wonderful. Time to rinse the razor again. <clears throat> Quite a bit of audio feedback since I went a day without shaving. And I hadn't used this razor in a while, so I thought I would pull it out and use it today. Actually, it's about sunset here now, or just after. Monday night here, soon it will be Tuesday morning, after midnight sometime. Well, that's it for the first pass, and uh, rest assured, this is feeling wonderful. I uh, usually don't review things, but I highly recommend this cream and all of these uh, Extra Cosmese products. I'll be right back, and uh, then we will go across the grain. Okay, we'll go across the grain now. Still on setting five on this razor. Been babysitting that cat, the kitten, for about a week now. Kitten's owner comes home tomorrow. Cute little cat, but very ornery. She can be naughty sometimes. Yes, sir. This is a uh, sort of a menthol, uh, menthol and eucalyptus type cream here. God willing, and the rivers don't rise, I might get some more of these creams. There is some overhang on this razor of which to be aware. I was kind of catching myself under the nose there a bit.
All right. <clears throat> okay. Make sure this is. Make sure this is down. The doors are down the way they should be, or tight. I mean. Let's see. Oh yeah. Trying to go across. Not time to go against the grain yet, but soon. My lathers on my shades have been a lot better lately. <clears throat> I've only had one shave maybe out of the last 20 or 25 that seemed like it wasn't up to par. And even on that one, I think the lather was okay. Okay, I'll be right back and we'll go against the grain. Okay, we'll go against the grain now. <clears throat> Not much to say about this shave, except that it's really, really nice. And comfortable so far, too. Still on the number five setting on this Gillette Black Beauty. <clears throat> and now that I think about it, this might be my most comfortable adjustable razor, or at least my most comfortable Gillette adjustable razor to use. <clears throat> I might have nicked myself a little bit, but nah, didn't even feel it if I did. So. Cool, comfortable, ample lather from this shaving cream. <clears throat> yeah, for conversational shaving, this uh, shave is not very conversational. Like I said, it's just very pleasant. And somewhat foolproof, somewhat of a no-brainer. Still on setting five. I didn't have as good a luck with one of these blades the first time I used it. I used it in a Wardonia razor, which looks similar to one of these, 
but uh, and I think it might have been licensed by Gillette in Poland or someplace like that one of the old Eastern Bloc countries anyway but uh, uh, this blade in here is very nice so far and I do have a little bit more growth this time I think Can you hear my stomach rumbling? My stomach's making noise. I'm not terribly hungry, but uh, my stomach's making noise. And there's something wrong with the plumbing here because uh, we're having the same sound in the walls that we had before when there was a plumbing issue. The sound as if somebody down the line were turning water on and off and on and off. I don't know if you can hear that or not. But anyway... Be that as it may, a little bit of a weeper there, no big deal. Uh, I'll come back and then it'll be pickup time. Okay, everybody, it's pickup time. Pickup time right there. And there you have it, pickup time. Yeah, this, uh, this blade, um, well, in that other razor, I had used one of these in the Wardonia razor, which I think is on one of my earlier videos. Um, yeah, that razor is very aggressive, um, or at least more aggressive than this. What you would have on a 5 setting here, uh, you'd probably want to use a 4 setting uh, on that razor. So, just saying. Let's see. Still on 5 setting on here, by the way, on this razor. I'm going to do the 5 setting all the way through, I believe. And I'm not going to go too crazy on touch-ups here. Sometimes uh, when I go overboard on touch-ups or pickups, that's when I get the most irritation, of course. I'm going to rinse this and do a bit of a, a slickness test. Pretty slick. Pretty good residual slickness on this cream. I keep wanting to call it a soap because it comes in a tub, but it's a, it's a cream. More slick on this side, but that's just because it's wetter over here. Definitely good lather and performance on this soap overall. Good protection. I'm just going to try not to go too crazy. I'm trying to get some trouble spots here, but... I think that's all I'm going to do right now. Maybe just I always say that and then I always find one or two more things, but that's it. I'm, I'm done. And uh, we'll come back with Mr. Tao. Here he is to know him is to love him. It's our good friend, Mr. Tao. Whew. Oh. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Very nice. 
very nice. <clears throat> Not a lot to say about a really good shave. Like I said, it's just a really good shave. These products today so far seem so easy to use and so so easy to get so much out of with so little effort. Yeah. I hear some feedback down here on my neck, but I'm not going to overdo that because that's where I get the most irritation. So if it's not BBS, it's DFS, darn fine shave as opposed to baby bottom smooth, you know. I'll start a bit of a recap and then I'll put the finishing touches on this here shave. Okay, off camera beforehand, I prep my face uh, with the Le Libre Blanc shaving oil. And I let, I let that set on, on my face for, let it absorb for a couple of minutes before I got to lathering. Um, my razor has been this, it's the Gillette Adjustable Black Beauty Razor on setting five all the way through the shave here. And my blade has been this, oh, it says uh, Xylotech, I believe it is, and the old uh, Wardonia Iridium Super Extra Stainless Blade right there on its first use, right there. And my brush has been this Omega, I believe this is the 10049, 48 or 49, I, I think it's the 10049 Pro Bore Brush. And, and that's a very big brush too. You've probably seen some of the other wet shavers do this. See how that'll cover half your face there? But I like it a lot. That's always been a good brush from day one. That's been a good brush. And it was uh, easy to break in too, not that it needed br breaking in that much. I've used this cream, the Fredo, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, Extra Cosmesi Don Donato Artisan Shave Cream from Italy, now available through West Coast Shaving here in the States, and a nice uh, heavy glass tub with a plastic lid on it. And let's see, is there anything I've forgotten? I don't think so. So let's see, I'll reach in magic cabinet number two here. And uh, oh, let's see here. I guess I'll just use the uh, Equate Walmart store brand Witch Hazel, which is fine, it does the job. And get that going there. This is an astringent, so it's 14% alcohol by volume. And there is a little bit of sting, but that's okay. Okay, and let's see here. Now I'll reach over here for this, the Osage Rub. Aftershave Splash, very nice stuff. Kind of like a menthol sort of menthol and eucalyptus e eucalyptus <laughs> of course some of that in the hand there and get that going a little on the wrists on the temples behind the ears maybe a little on the back of the neck ah some burn and some cooling also very nice, very nice. And finally, I'll put the cap back on this and we'll reach over here for the, well, it's the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. And uh, this might have some witch hazel in it too. So I might be doubling up on the witch hazel, but uh, I believe this is alcohol free. Yeah, alcohol free. So, any witch hazel in here would be more of just a toner. And I really got more than I need of the balm there. A little bit goes a long way. Good. 
nice and cooling, nice and pleasant. And uh, yeah. Hey, we're gonna call that done. Uh, still got quite a bit of extra balm on he on my hands there, but it'll all absorb pretty quickly. That's it. Thank you for joining me. Come on back next week. Hopefully we'll be here next week and do this again. Uh, goodbye and peace.